Hello! Maybe that was a that was a janky swap over and I forgot to remove the Discord overlay. <laughs> God. Well, but that was a bit all over. Uh messing with stuff. But yeah. Voice is deep. How? <laughs> oh. Thank you. Hey, thank you for the uh the uh the sub as you were Okay, give me a sec. Did that fix the voice? Is my voice fixed? Is it good? Hello Blackworm, but yeah, hello Zendro. Uh Pizza Azure. No it isn't. Oh thank you, Black Blackworm. Uh Toast, Talon, uh Zendro. I think I said that already. Uh also Queen. And yeah, that's it. Hello. Hello everyone. <coughs> okay. Right. Uh, hello, Dunkel. Okay. So, uh, oh, I forgot to change the um the about section. It's fine. Oh, I thought I, the game had a title under this logo. I forgot it doesn't. I mean, it says it here, but it's in tiny. Yeah. Yeah. This game. This game I started twice in the past, and both times I stopped at the exact same moment because. This game has a very, like, sudden... Oh, there we go, Zeno. The big boost. There you go. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, this I, I absolutely love this game. Uh, partially because it is a bit my history. It, it's neighboring history, but, like, it, this might as well have taken place in Hungary, you know. It's right next to Hungary in, in the times. And also, people speak Hungarian in this. Which is really funny, because I'm going to be able to translate to you guys <laughs> what people are talking about. Um, hey, Chaotic. And, and yeah, twice I started this game, both times I stopped at the exact same time when the, the plot just plummets. And everything slows down. And there's a, a moment where you're just like, man, I just don't want to do this shit. And I stopped twice. So, uh... Wait, Zendro, you just fed yourself. <laughs> you don't have to, like, put your own name in. But yeah, um, all the vials and darts, any interaction items, I haven't added yet, because I was busy, uh, well, I did the, I fixed the counters. So, hopefully, I shouldn't, the counter shouldn't break, so I don't grow forever. I was thinking of um I was thinking of uh changing the uh the size of that. Actually no, before that I will let me um uh wait, why is the activity feed not working? Oh no. God. Thanks for the uh the resub as your the activ activity feed doesn't show it. I guess I'll have to use the um what is it called? Oh, that Twitch thing. Mar Your point redeems are broken all about, yeah. <laughs> oh. Thank you. Hey, thank you for the, uh... Oh, thank you for the sub, Chaotic with Prime. Super appreciated. Hey. Okay, so yeah, I added a new command where you can just put in uh, a gif from Giphy. Really, just redeem. It's, yeah, I think it's just going to show the, uh, the top result or maybe a random gif with that tag. I'm not sure, but it's, it's just a gif. Also, I might have to turn off meme for this game. This game is very resource intensive. How is weirdness happening? What, what, what's, what's wrong now? What happened? What's not working? You're gonna clip it? I don't see anything, uh... I don't see anything wrong. <laughs> Thank you! Oh my god, Zeno. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, it's a Monday. Thank you so much. It fixed itself. Ah, alright. 
Oh, and there's there's a ghost train as well. Fuck. Okay, well that's. I didn't even start the game yet. <laughs> I guess I'll, I'll wait a little bit. <laughs> yeah, thank you, thank you, Zando, for the gift subs. God damn. Uh, I didn't change the events, so that 50 tons would be like a lot <laughs> more. Uh. Okay, the well the train has started. Thank you, thank you, Viper. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. Man, this is happening and my activity feed is broken. In OBS. I can't, I can't believe that. Like, the one stream when ac activities I want to see are happening, it's broken. Cause last, last stream, it was a raid. The entire stream. <laughs> and it was working. And this stream is not working when it should. Oh, well, thank you. Appreciate it all. Man, not Nothing, nothing works the way it should. <laughs> Thank you. Oh god, Toast as well. Well, there's another, another mega for everyone. Thank you, Toast. Super appreciated. Yeah, I'm gonna fill up the screen in no time. What a game to get high. This is a good game. Like, it, it's it's actually a good game on like Thief, but that's that's why I'm just waiting a bit, because I want to um, I want to uh, to you know, to play it when it like dies down a little. <laughs> it's actually a, a game I like. <laughs> I want people to see the cutscenes. <laughs> you captured the witness. Ah, uh, can you post in the uh, the Cliffs channel? Cliffs highlights uploads. You, you can put it there. I'll, I'll have a look at it. Oh, it's something... Did the merc work? Uh, there might be a command that's like... Queued up. I'm scared of Quinn. Oh, because of all the, um, the items. <laughs> Thank you. Big Sarge deserves the big love, big CFX flex. Sargeo, <laughs> thank you, thank you, Vagrant. Just quick checking. Uh... No, nothing, nothing's running. Oh, it did work. Never mind then. I don't know. Don't know what happened then earlier. Cause I didn't see or hear the merp. I thought it didn't work. Uh. Yeah, did you put it in clips? Oh, you did. Oh, it did work, okay. Let me just look at it. Oh, that's the blinking. Command where you can just put in, uh, like... Yeah, the, um... The, the, I mean, I can just put it in chat. But, um... The blinking, the blinking happened because it was putting on the avatars, or like, you know, making the source visible. And when I speak, it's a different type of the source, it has to load in. So it was just loading in, you know, back and forth. And the queen gonna have a giant one for someone gonna become immobile quickly in the future. Uh, queen will definitely use it on someone. I have no doubt. Like, every stream starts with me getting pincushion with darts. Yeah, it was just all the sources uh, becoming visible, and then 
active to get her talent. That's, that's it. Every time my size changes, you also see sometimes it blinks when I speak in between. So there's also hello, Trader. Alright. It's time to actually start. I might have to change the, um... God. Yeah, I have, like, multiple different playthroughs. I don't know where the other one is. This is different. Never mind, I started it three times. Uh, can I, like, delete them? I guess I just have to override. I'll override the second one, because I'll we'll keep the first. Yeah, hardcore is, uh... More realistic. I don't know if that just makes it harder, or does it make it... You have one life. I don't think it makes it one life. It just makes it more realistic. I think normal's fine. But yeah, this is a it's a Euro Jank game, but that makes it really good. The early 15th century was a time of turmoil in the Holy Roman Empire, which had flourished under the late Emperor Charles IV. The fourth. But now, with his son, Francis lost the idol on the Bohemian... Okay, thanks. The king's inactivity angered many of the nobility, as well as his half-brother, King Sigismund of Hungary. Who... Thanks. Alright, cool. I mean, you should know your history, right? At least in Europe. You know? <laughs> European medieval times. Oh... Yeah, thank you everyone for the, uh, the subs and bits and everything. Silver Scalettes, 1403. Yeah, this game not only is very historically accurate, but it's also well written. This game unironically has a really well written story and diverse characters. Like, every character is so interesting in this. And fun to talk to. Like, they actually put a lot of effort into the, uh, the story of this game. On top of it being, like, a very good, uh, historically accurate, just... piece of work. With weird survival elements and stuff. It, it was really jank early on. Because it was like early access or in development. So, early on, you, s you saw a lot of bug videos about bugs and glitches and all that, and they can still happen. But it. The last five years, they've been doing a lot just. Up updating it, fixing stuff, adding DLCs. They've been only working on this game and nothing else. It's like, um. Uh. What is it? No Man's Sky. Except this game didn't have like a, you know. A promise they didn't de deliver on this game, delivered on the promise. Well, Not like as an afterthought. Good. I should get it finished today. There's nothing more drank than Bethesda. Only <laughs> in that popularity. He was still sleeping when it's, I it's a miracle out. those games are so popular, one? the modern Bethesda ones. To be fair, even old Bethesda was really buggy, because I played Daggerfall and it was still an unfinished mess, so I don't know. I guess Bethesda never finished the game. Easy bones up then. Quick clout round the ear should do it. Mm -hmm. Now there's our hero. Henry! Get up now. There's work to be done. Hit him. Better not vex him. Now get up quick. Your breakfast is on the table. Wait, what's this? Have you been... Oh, Henry. How many times have I told you about fighting? Oh, it's nothing. It's just a scratch. You've been at that sword play again, haven't you? You better pray your father doesn't get to hear of it. You know how he feels about it. Don't worry, it wasn't that. I, I just scratched myself. <laughs> and you like the chocolate bar. <laughs> yes. Don't be crying to me if you really do get hurt. 
Now get up. You rogue. You rogue. Hey, Vans. How's it going? Henry. So yeah, I'm uh, gonna be playing this until we can continue outward. And then uh, after outward, this is gonna be the other uh, game I play. I want to you in this finish. Morning. What on earth did you get up to last night? By means of the first two choices in this dialogue, you will select your character's default characteristics. If you're not satisfied with them, not to, to worry. All characteristics can be further developed without a limitation. Uh, I was fucking. It increased my vitality. I can't remember, but I think like I like I like speeching games in RPGs. It's always fun. Me and the lads were just having a chat in the tavern. Some wayfarer stopped by. He was telling us what's going on in the world, and, um... Well, I, uh, I lost track of time. Well, I hope he didn't fill your head with nonsense. I have to increase well, the audio. Well, I've got a feeling there's something you're not telling me. And it's connected with that scratch on your hand. And that suspicious-looking character with a sword who turned up in town recently. Uh... It's either vitality or strength that I want. Because I already have a bit in speech. Probably vitality. I was with Bianca. Do you want a blow by blow account of everything we did? What's this, an interrogation? Alright, alright. Sorry, sir. It's just that I worry about you. Thanks, Ma, but I'm not four years old. I know how. You've grown up in front of my eyes. It's hard to get used to it. Uh, and my friends. Oh, I don't have to say anything because Henry just says stuff. Did Matthew and Fritz come looking for me? No, I haven't seen them this morning. It shouldn't be hard to find. They'll be hanging around a tavern somewhere as usual. You're misjudging them, Ma. That's unfair. Really? So where were you until the small hours last night? I was... with Bianca, of course. You mean at Bianca's tavern? And who was there with you? No, don't tell me, let me guess. Matthew and Fritz. Well, at least you were with Bianca. You should hold on to that one, Hal. She's a clever girl. And invite her for supper sometime. Your father's very fond of her. Yeah, of course he is. He thinks he'll be able to wheedle the secret of beer brewing out of her. <laughs> You're right there. You think he was planning to become a brewer in his dotage. Still, that's your father for you. At least he's interested in something, unlike you lot. You're too busy getting into mischief to do an honest day's work. If Fritz and Matthew carry on this way, they'll wind up swinging one day. You mark my words. I mean, how old is Henry? Like, 20? I guess, I guess in, in maybe 18. I guess uh, in medieval times that was considered an adult already. But you know, at that point, no one is an adult yet, mentally. Can I get something to eat? I left some breakfast on the table. Help yourself. Like, you, you have no idea what, what you're going to do at that age. You, you don't have your mind set at anything. Father angry with me for sleeping late. He's not happy. Yesterday you promised him you'd help finish that sword for Saratzi. He's not as young as he was. And you know how his joints pain him. He's too proud to complain. And he needs your help, Henry. No. Don't worry, Ma. Of course I'll help him. Good. He always says his knees ache when there's a storm coming. I hope they're wrong this time. It's looking like such a nice day. I can't remember what button I had. God, it was one of the um Uh I need to finish this. You need me to do anything, man. Ah, you're a good one. Hello, Reverend. 
But I'm fine. It's your father needs helping with that sword. Yeah, I need to, I need to hide the, uh, the preview, but I can't remember what I said the, uh, the key thing for that. The key bind. Uh, hot keys. Uh, oh, it's page down? Okay, it was page down. I didn't want to press any of the page buttons, because uh, those usually... Okay, the stream, the game might run a bit better. It might run a bit better. I might have to lower it to, uh, to high. It's on very high right now. It depends. Let me, let me know if, um, if it runs super bad. I can always change it. But yeah. Apple. Can't I just, like, eat it from here? Oh, no, I have to pick it up first. Apple. I didn't want to sit. No, oh, I'm sit. I, I wanted, if I wanted to sit, I would have wanted to sit on the other side. Well, I guess I can eat from here. Look at this lad. Eat an apple. Nourishment is going up. So yeah, this, this game has um, survival elements. So Henry does need to sleep. He has to eat. Like, how many people have never heard, never heard of this game or, or saw it before? Because it has a lot of really cool features. Like, it is, um, it's a Eurojank game. Which means it's a video game that has a lot of, like, weird ideas that are not mainstream at all. Good. So, one of the more controversial ideas is this. The Savior Schnapps. This, uh, on the release... This is how you saved the game. You had to drink this. Otherwise, you couldn't save the game outside of just quitting. It's saved when you quit, but um, you couldn't manually save. You had to drink the, uh, the Savior Schnapps. And then, because a lot of people didn't like that, they changed it. I think in hardcore mode, you still have to use this to save. <laughs> uh, cheese. More cheese. Mm, I can eat from the pot. Um. Also, a cook item. I, I have nothing to cook on the open flames, apparently. Yeah, look, medieval homes. Uh, historically, everything in this game is historically accurate. Everything you see is just the fifteenth century. Like one to one. This is this is how people lived in uh, middle middle Europe, fifteenth century. Okay, I don't. I want to just lock pick. Yeah, more apples. Okay, I don't, I don't want to take my, uh, the entire family stash of apples and cabbages, much other stuff. Uh. I need the bread. And the cheese. There we go, Nourishment 97. Henry is filled. The only, like, bad, somewhat bad part in this game is still the combat. Which I do like. I like the way they did combat. But it doesn't work with multiple people, and you see what I, you'll see what I mean. You can fight one-on-one -on -one duels properly. They, they made these games like melee combat, like sword fighting, like real duels. But when there's two people or a whole gang up on you, you can't, you can't fight. It's so, it's so bad. Like, I wish there was a hybrid between the duels and, uh, you know, just swinging randomly on, on, at people. I wish there was a thing. Henry, sprint. Hey, Dad. Father. Didn't you hear me calling? I know, I know that. Uh, oh yeah, bows are also rough because um, it, it bows are not just like you know you pull back you shoot, but you know you have to get used to the angles, the the drop, the gravity. I don't know if wind affects bows, 
But yeah, and yeah, two against one is very difficult to fight, but you can kinda do it. Just programming it would be uh, a pain in the ass. But yeah, and this is just tutorial about persuasion. You can use speech, um, or in the Middle Ages, social status was paramount, so the quality of your attire and how well groomed you are, together with your reputation, can make a big difference to how people respond to you. So you can persuade people by just being actually washed and in shining armor. Then you can make a speech check based on that. And if you look like you're covered in blood, that's also a persuasion check. So you can do that sort of um, approach in conversations. It's reflected by strength and deterrent effect of your weapons and equipment. Other things are also taken into account, such as blood stains on your clothes. You can sometimes rely on money to do the talking for you, yeah. Special cases you can try any other skill, like horsemanship. It's not only the it's not only the matter of persuasion that's important, but also the specific offer, because sometimes it's not enough just to choose according to your highest characteristics. You have to really read what you're going to say. Uh, different approaches work on different people. You won't intimidate a tough brawler easily, and no matter how well you dress, you won't impress the nobility easily. That's because Henry's abilities aren't simply assigned a universal value, but compared with the abilities of his counterparts. You can see the values of the various abilities in the game under the corresponding icons. You can always see your own abilities. Your counterparts' abilities are visible to you if it's someone you know well, or if you're skilled at reading people. Learn to perk empathetic. I like how empathetic is a perk. <laughs> uh, at least enemies are not waiting in line to kick your ass like in many other games, just cooperating and using advantage. Yeah, it's. I'm not saying it's not realistic. I'm just saying it's. Um, it, it gets a it gets a bit annoying to like struggle with the uh, the combat when it's multiple people, but I, I do understand like yeah you just if you're not wearing armor to shrug off the extra hits, yeah you, you just get fucked. <laughs> also hello wolf, uh, and hello lord lord B. hello everyone. Uh, but yeah, it's not just about stats though, the outcome is influenced by other factors like reputation. Yeah, still, it's it's all about your re reputation and the uh, the opponent, etc. So yeah, total speech, charisma, strength, skill level. Yeah. So yeah, uh, my dad. I mean... I had to do something. Sorry, I had to go and deal with something. Well, it's no great tragedy. Anyway, we've a lot of work to do today. I'm finishing the sword for Sir Radzik, and I need your help. With what? I'm running out of charcoal. Yeah, I, to the market I played this game a lot too, and I know exactly at what point I stopped. And I want to push through this time. I went into the monastery. The monastery bit where a lot of people just stop for good reasons, but I want to actually go through this time because I want to finish this game. That drunker, that'll be fun. Well, you're a big lad now. I'm sure you can manage. If not, tell him that next time I'll come myself and personally use that hammer to bang those nails into his ass. Sure, I'll be happy to hear it. Is that all? Not quite. The chain yeah, I, I got up to the monastery at like 50 hours. Sword, which I had engraved in and the plot just fell down so much that, uh, I don't know. Got it. And ale. <laughs> Stop off at the tavern on your way. Like, everything, everything put together just put me off from continuing. But make sure the ale's still cool from the cellar when you get back. Her name is Bianca. Right, so make sure Bianca draws me a nice cool one. Run along now, work won't wait. Wow, look at Skellies. Or Skellits. I can't remember what the town is called. Skellig? Skellits, that's it, okay. I recall I came across a random bandit who had killed someone and he ran off yelling he was going to tell the guards I did it. Luckily, I was more adept with bows, yeah. Oh yeah, also, um, 
Yeah, we can. I, I figured that's what you meant. Um, another thing with this game is because because it wants to be like as accurate as possible. Everyone has a schedule, so every single NPC in this world is actually scheduled to um, to like do their job, go to eat during uh, noon, and then go to sleep during night. And some people don't sleep, like, you know, or guards have actual patrols going back and forth. Every Everything in this is, uh... This program, like, simulated. Although I don't think time goes in the, the prologue. I think time stops, uh... Right now, because, yeah, it's the prologue. But once you're out in the open, it's going to have, like, a proper daylight cycle. Uh, yeah. Sign charcoal. Oh yeah, I was supposed to get charcoal. Sorry, father, I wasn't listening at all. I have a whole Twitch chat. <laughs> uh, buy your charcoal at the market. Collect, uh, yeah. Collect the depth and then from Kunesh and then buy the charcoal from that. Alright, Kunesh is over here. Kunesh! Yo. I'll be with you, Kunesh. What do you want? Father sent me to get the coin you are in for the axe, hammer, and nails. I almost said it, but I remember how you said it. You know you owe Father for a lot more than just the axe and hammer. If he went to the bailiff about it, you'd be in deep water. At least pay for the tools if you can't pay for everything. I told you I have no coin, you bastard. Get the hell out of here, or I'll use the axe on you. That's the way you want it. I'll tell Father you won't pay, and you can tell him what you told me. And don't come back. Hmm. I know how this smells. <laughs> I've been to, like, uh... I've been to, uh, specific, like, medieval areas or fairs in Hungary. Actually, my mom works at one, so, uh, so I've, I've been in a stable full of horses. Which I don't know if that's something, I'm not even bragging about it, I'm just saying. Hmm, when he's leaving, I can go in the house. Done with your wood, I'm not suspicious at all. Dude, who didn't have the 666? All oh, right, oh, the strange girl. Don't go drink a strange. Yeah, that doesn't that doesn't work. He won't lose. Hmm, a locked chest. I'll need a lockpick to get into that. Okay, uh, yeah, I see, I got a zero. Do you still have the other uh, mega? Because you might have to just retry it. I mean, that happened last time. <coughs> that happened yeah, last time with Atera. I think, I think what I have to do... I think I have a solution to, uh, to fix those uh, glitches. Because those commands are right now unlocked. Yeah, see? So, it just, it just... Nothing happened. I... What I'm going to have to do is I'll have to separate the commands when I get uh, fed vials from the main ones, and I have to c still lock the commands when you guys are drinking. So it runs one by one. And when I get fed, it runs all at once. Because when I get fed and I lock the command, you have to wait until I finish growing. You get what I mean? You don't have to put in your own names, Ando. Yeah, it's just... 
so many people are trying to drink at once that, um... Also, why are you drinking, like, 20s at a time, Zander? Uh... It, it works, you, you did drink 20. I don't know why you keep typing it in. It's up there, you, you grew by 1,000 tons. But yeah, I need to get a block pick from, from a guy. No, Zendro, Zendro, yeah, Zendro did drink it, so that's why nothing works. Okay, I need to get a lockpick from Fritz. Or someone. Uh... Hey, Pip! Do you want to learn something? Have you recovered from yesterday's great wound? No, it was nothing. Okay, Henry. Except Mother noticed and had a word or two to say about it. No mother's happy when a son starts to take an interest in swords. Where there's weapons, there's death. The question is, what do you want? I don't want to rot in this hole forever. I feel like I don't belong here. I want to live and see the world. But the world's a dangerous place and I need to know how to protect myself. Spoken like a man. And as it happens, today's your last chance. I have to leave. So, are you ready to get stuck in? Oh yeah, there's another thing in this game. Uh, there's going to be multiple tutorials about combat, and this is the first one. Because um, they made the prologue after the other tutorials. <laughs> the walk. I know there is a walk command. Oh, no, that was a horse whistle. Eh. Oh, it was caps lock. Right. I mean, no, it said you didn't have enough, so nothing happened, Blackworm. Yeah. It's, um... It wasn't, it wasn't buggy, it's just there was no amount to, to deduce from him, that's why it didn't work. Like, it's just... If, uh, if there's no, if you can't, you know, lose, you can't lose size under zero. Well, the first command was just mix it up, saying that uh, you can't shrink anymore. The other one is just, you know, the actual uh, command for the strange. Good. And since today is the last time we'll be seeing each other, you can show me everything I've taught you so far. Haha, <laughs> that's nothing. Where's my, where's my sword? There it is. Let's start from the basics. Keep moving. Your life depends on it. So this is how sword works. Yeah, you can unlock from people anytime and the lock back on. Alright, alright. Now try to hit me. You have to put your weight into your attack. I don't know why it Just keeps unlocking now. Try slashing from different sides. That's Only weird. Why is it doing that? Never repeat yourself. Uh so yeah. Uh, hello, Romar. Tried a few times. Stab. Fine. Not bad. Again. Not bad. Again. Good, good. Let's try something else. One strike, I can fend off about a sweat. But if you chain your strikes, I'll have a much harder time. 
As soon as you land one blow, follow it with another. That's enough. I don't know about you, but I'm tired of thirsty. Remember though, train hard. No one becomes a master swordsman overnight. You Except have to work and work. And the main thing is to use what you've learnt in real combat. There's nothing better than experience, believe me. You were fighting with broomsticks. Jeez. Also, oh, I'm, I'm doing good, Romar. Hope you are too. Uh, did anyone like? I mean, I'm guessing a lot of people got a bunch of bruises. Bruises. Hey, hello. Uh, what's this objective? Fuck. What do you see? Oh, that's the uh, the axe. I have to buy more charcoal. I wanna find um, uh, Fritz. I think he's in the tavern. Yeah, I almost broke one of my bust fingers. Yeah, that's what I figured. Oh, there they are. You can't be serious, Hood. Insulting our king. One piece. I say only the truth. Sigismund has done only what he had to do. I had to. He had to abduct the king. He had to lure his cousin Prokop into a trap and imprison him. He had to invade with his army of Tatars and besiege Gutenberg. Why not? What is this Wenceslas for a king? The Empire is falling asunder. I didn't vote for him. <laughs> the German counts elected Ruprecht of the Palatinate as king. Because your Wenceslas would not go to their deeds even. German counts. Traitor. Now even the Pope. Don't be with you, Henrik. Pope. I'm with you, Matthew. What's going on here? Deutsches Valley shit. What? Just listen and you'll hear for yourself. Someone has to bring order and reunite the Empire. Nah, it's like Twitter, but in 15th uh, century. Nowadays, not even the devil himself can keep up with all the popes. Which is the right for Pope? The one in Rome or the one in Avignon? Do not blaspheme, Alex. No, it's true, though. Winston is the king of Bohemia. Bohemian nobles are on his side. To hell with Rosenberg and his cabal. Sir Ratzi is Winston commander in chief. He stayed loyal to the king. And if he heard you talking like this, he would have you whipped like a dog. Your deal will soon have nothing left to rule. Jobs had to sell Luxembourg to help your king. South Bohemia is with Sigismund and don't and forget about Gutenberg. Well, Germans like you kissed Sigismund's feet to keep their head. I don't know what happens yes, to your tokens, Romark, because I don't this is change anything. Let us talk of more pleasant things. I'm going to say. Deutsch has gone too far. Wenceslas is our rightful king. Deutsch is an idiot. But what can you do? I might have an idea. Deutsch deserves to be taught a lesson. Doesn't he, Fritz? Too I, Matthew. You should give him a proper hiding. Oh, are you mad? Do you want to end up in the pillory? Don't listen to Fritz. I've got a better idea. Deutsch was talking such shit. It made me think of that huge parliament you're. You know. The one right next to this freshly whitewashed house. You think we should redecorate for it? Count me in. Well, I'd rather touch it, to be honest. But, doing some turds will do. What do you say, Henry? But I was going to get ale for father and a, a few other things. We're finishing Sir Radzik's sword. Come on. Doing a few handfuls of manure is not going to take all day. And it's our duty to defend the honor of our king. So, how? Are you with us? Hell yeah. Uh, wait. I need your help in return is... I, I remember how that one goes. Yes, yeah, so they're called Deutsch. That's, that's their name. 
I, I know Deutsch means uh, German, but I think I think uh, it's uh, it's more of a nickname here because this is this takes place in Czechoslovakia, and uh, yeah, I need your help right, here too. But then you have to give me a hand with something. What do you need? Kuna shows money to father and doesn't want to pay. I tried talking to him, but he wouldn't listen. I need more than words to get coin out of them, and I can't handle it on my own. No problem, we'll back you up. Just as soon as we're done plastering Deutsche Cells. I'll be happy to sort out that drunken elf. Yeah, right. instead of lock picking, we're just gonna beat him up. <laughs> but yeah, I think, I think Deutsche is just a nickname for him, because, um... I think I do have to lower the settings. Uh, because I, I remember one bit. This is it's fine on high. I'll just change the, uh, the anti aliasing because that really eats its SMAA. I think SMAA is the one that eats performance. Oh no, it's M MAA. Or M. M T. M. No. What was it? MX, oh, it's MXAA, right, not MS, SM. Either way, it's CryEngine's anti alias thing is always a big, uh. a big problem. So, are we doing this or not? Wait, we have to check that the coast is clear. Why? Deutsch is in the tavern. But maybe you noticed after all these years that he has a wife and a son. And that's a problem? Aye, it is. Henry, you gotta lure her away somehow. Why me? <laughs> because you're the clever one. Yeah. <laughs> Henry, I'm glad you came. To be honest, first I wanted to believe it would be maybe Dutch. Yeah, now it's, it's Deutsch. What do you want, lad? I just went by the tavern and your husband was in there talking nonsense. I thought someone should take him home before he gets himself in trouble. What sort of nonsense? Well, uh, well, he kept saying that Sigismund was right and King Wenceslas is a drunkard, that sort of thing. Some people took exception, so I thought... God almighty! The fool! Next thing he'll start on about the popes! He might have mentioned the popes too. Thank you for telling me. I just hope I can catch him before he gets into another fight. Yeah, they, they say it right. It's it's historically accurate. And they do spell, they do like pronounce it the proper way, not just the English, the way the English people would. They try to pronounce everything to be accurate. Oh, I forgot the cutscenes are locked to uh, like 30 something FPS. What are you waiting for, soldier? Fire the trebuchet! For king and country! King and country, my ass! This is all good, clean, fun! <laughs> Nearly as good as having that traitor in the pillory. Nearly. Now that would be sweet. <laughs> That's for Sigismund! Woohoo! Eat shit, Dorcius! You bastards! What the fuck do you think you're doing? <laughs> Hello, Neon. Hey, Hans. Can't you see? We're decorating your house for you. It's like your old man was saying in the tavern about that traitor Sigismund. We're just doing what we have to do. Oh, Hans! I'll make those smiles off your faces! Oh, I'd like to see you try. What are you doing here? Spizek, hanging out with his poxy Deutscher. Maybe he'd like to try out the latest German fashion. <laughs> <laughs> Fucker! I'll make you pay for that. Unarmed combat. <laughs> Suddenly text. Uh. So yeah, left click, hook, right click, jab, E, F kicks, which you can also do in sword fighting, just kick people. Tab locks them, left shift unlocks, Q is for block. Uh, 
yeah, the purple is the enemy health, the stamina is your stamina that gets reduced when blocking. Oh, your maximum stamina and health, oh yeah, the health also reduces your maximum stamina, that's a very important thing to keep in mind. Because, um, yeah, if you keep getting your health damaged, it will also fuck up your stamina so you can't fight better. And also icons are the boons, which are debuffs, so to speak. Yeah, oh, immediately get punched in the face. I <laughs> like that woman just walking by. Sorry, I almost, <laughs> almost hit my friend. What are you doing? For God's sake! Stop right now! The cage pole is on his way! <laughs> oh, what a... <laughs> He's got brain damage now. Oh. Run! You, you saw nothing. Cow. Hello. I forgot to look at the, um like graphic profiles, I think I'll have to do that uh, before next stream. Like set up a profile that, uh, that runs well and looks good. Cause I, I know using the, uh, the default settings are not the best for games like this. Cause they just set everything to a specific point, and that doesn't work. It doesn't work as well. Like I, I'm fairly sure I can max out the, uh, the textures. I have enough VRAM to do that. going. I thought you guys were going to help me. Oh, we are at the, uh, at Kunish. Okay. Cool. Well, we sorted that Deutsch out. <laughs> that was pretty close, eh? That old bastard didn't stand a chance. Man, well, I didn't get hit once. Hands, we'll snitch on <laughs> Look at these guys. Well, uh, him. Then I'll snitch on him. And anyway, what can they do to us for throwing a bit of dung? Good point. It's not as if anyone really likes the Deutsch. Hey, Kazat. I need a hand with Kunesh. Sure, me. You helped us, so we'll help you. Let's get to it then. Oh, congrats on the, uh, the Giga. Kazat. Look out. Same to you. Wait, where'd you go? Yeah. Get out here, you old goat! I've something to show you! God save you. Oh. He was just, uh, gone for more logs. He was preparing for winter. With my father's axe. Uh, no, you can't get a tower from spinning. What the fuck are you here for? You want me to take a whip to you or call a catch pole? Just try it, you're drunk. It's immediately ghost for me. What an asshole. <laughs> oh, alright. Enough! Enough! I give up! Take what you want. It's not much, but it's all I have. You understand? 
There we go. Brute force wins again. Now you get the potent dust, so you can uh That's all the dead ones. Once. Okay, he really doesn't have anything else. Yeah, just dead hammer and nails. That's all he's. Uh, even even all his uh, wealth is borrowed. Do I have the money for the ten charcoals? I got zero. How am I going to buy it? I don't even know what I'm supposed to uh, buy it for. Isn't it like green Kunish's stuff somewhere? Find something that Kunish is worth selling. Oh yeah, he's uh, he's hammer and stuff. Right, that's. I thought I was dead. Some reason misremembered. Good day. Right, so, uh, seal. So I'll lose. Buy ten charcoal. I still have to pay. I have to sell something else. <coughs> I mean, I guess I can sell one of these marigold. The auction. I can't remember. I think this is just for like. Normal sicknesses. There's an info. Within one minute, we'll have 30 health and dispel hangover effects. Cancel the effects of Lazarus potion. So, yeah. It's just a healing potion. And removes hangover. Uh, I can haggle, but. Uh, I can haggle. Let's have a word about the price. Why not? Let's haggle. Burp. Haggling works both ways, whether you want to buy cheap or sell dear. You select the amount you want to pay or get or get WNS and confirm with A. The trader will then respond to your offer. If the answer is a refusal, he or she will make a counter offer and wait for your response. Slider can't be moved in one direction or the other, it means either you or the trader does not have enough money. Uh, dragging out the haggling with one offer after another will gradually try the trader's patience and eventually they'll drop the haggling completely. Every unsuccessful bout of haggling lowers your reputation with the trader. Uh yeah. Don't be don't be to get more. Because I'm, I'm selling the many golds. So, uh, let's try a little bit more. What about this? I'd almost shake on that. Almost. Sure. Works for me. Very well. I agree. There we go. Alpha seal, alpha <laughs> silver or gold or whatever. And now for the beer. God, like these steps, these are very basic steps. I actually, in the village that I grew up, we still had steps like these in a lot of, uh, lot of homes. Even though it's like hundreds of years later. Some, some people just have steps like these. Still. Like gro growing up, I actually used uh, steps like this. <laughs> Come to see us. Yeah, where's Bianca? If it's Jack, all you want, talk to my eye now. I've got no time now. Bianca. Where you are you? Oh, there you are. I'll wait for you in here. I'll let you let you pour it out for them. Because I'm nice. Here. Enjoy it. Just as you ordered. There we go. Welcome, 
I'm still busy. Okay. I mean, I, I wanted to be nice, but... Oh, I can't talk with her indoors. You're looking well today. <laughs> you too, handsome. What brings you here? <laughs> there you go. Your beauty, of course. <laughs> oh, noble sir. I'm as honored as any simple maid can be. And apart from my beauty, what else might your worship desire? Uh. I need ale for father. A pitcher as usual? Aye. Bring me a cool one from the cellar. <laughs> but of course. Thanks. Just off, off screen. Yeah, let me just pocket the picture. You can pay me back this evening. Out of the question. Here you go. And this evening I'll have something more for you. <laughs> I can't wait. Thanks. You'll have something to look forward to this evening. <laughs> you too. Oh, um, by the way, that shifty looking fellow was asking after you. Daniel. I suppose. He's a man who makes his coin robbing honest wayfarers. I'm sure of it. I'll be happy when he's gone for good. But what in heaven's name are you up to with him? He promised to teach me how to use a sword. What use would that be to you? Enough. You sound just like father. I'll be going now. See you this evening. How? I've got something special for you. Is that so? Now yeah, everyone's gonna get huge as well. Your favorite. Save your schnapps. Sooner or later. You're an angel. <laughs> I hope you'll thank me properly later. Yeah, the few non historically accurate things are stuff like save your schnapps. <laughs> that's, that's, the game saves automatically at important moments during quests so when you sleep in your own bed to save immediately drink the save your schnapps. So there's multiple ways to save except, you know, to manually do it, you need to drink that. So I want to talk talk about Deutsch. Look at you, lovely boy. Deutsch is mouthing off again. Oh, you talk to me about him. He's a good customer. But when it comes to politics, he's unbearable. The number of times I had to throw him and the other south so they wouldn't start brawling. Well, I'd say he's an exceptional form today. God be with you. I have to increase the dialogue volume. I already increased it a little bit. But the music is very loud. Alright, I got everything, Father. I have a, pi a, pi a cold pitcher of ale in my pocket. It's in my, it's in my ass pocket. Oh. Yeah, it is 54 million. I mean, it's, it's a big number, but only because it's in kilogram. And an average person maybe weighs like 80 kilogram, 90. I mean, I guess it depends on your height, but like super average is between 70 and 90. Yeah, about time. Have you got everything I wanted? Not yet. And, it. and size oh, goes exponentially. Get a move on. We have to finish that sword today. Or do you want me to look a fool in front of Sir Radzik? No, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be back soon. How did I not get everything? Oh. Oh, I need to go into the castle, the cross guard. Yeah, the, the order for the sword. Hey, guys. Yaroslav and Yannick. I'll be with you. I'm with you, Henry. How are you? Uh, I'm gonna get <laughs> Deutsch into any more trouble. Father sent me. We're forging a sword for Sir Radzik, and the chamber. I mean, they know about him. Father had them engraved in Sassau. Right, they're here. 
Chamberlain gave them to us for you. We looked them over. Beautiful work. I've never seen anything so fine. I can't wait to see the sword. Just make sure you don't botch it. When did I ever botch anything? Where shall I start? Ah, shut up and give me what I want, or I'll kick your ass this evening. Right away, your lordship. Thanks. Magnificent. Shame I can't keep the sword for myself. Well, I'd better go if we're to get the job done by this evening. Godspeed. See you later in the tavern. You certainly will. After today's work, the ale might even be on me. I got the cross card. Now I have everything. Yeah, about time. Have you got everything I wanted? I have charcoal, the hilt, and the ale. We can start. The most important part is the ale. Let's have it then, son. Well done. Right. Let's see what kind of job the master and sasso. A very good course. blacksmith needs to be tipsy when working. Look at that lad. That's what I call craftsmanship. What does the inscription mean? Oh, damn if I know. Doesn't look like Czech to me. Latin maybe? Lord Radzig ordered it. This will be the finest sword I've ever made. Have you got the charcoal? Good. Fire up the forge. We'll put it yeah, that's board. another thing. Um, in medieval times, reading was a luxury, mostly reserved to people like By the way, monks. Someone paid me a call to keep the uh, might know what it was about. keep uh, coping books and all that. Not sure. It was not really a really? useful skill for a lot of people, so they never learned sure. how to read. You and your friends threw dung at Deutsch's freshly whitewashed house. He was here with the catchpole earlier, and it was not a friendly so, visit. So, Henry doesn't know how to read. Because that's actually a gameplay Deutsch aspect. Was talking treason in the tavern about Sigismund and the king. He got what he deserved. He got what he deserved, did he? You can go and clean up the mess you made and apologize to him. I have a trade to run. The German pays well, and having my son in the pillory helps nothing and nobody, least of all the king. You understand? Yes. Look me in the eye, Henry. Do you understand? I understand. Good. Then we'll never have this conversation again. So you think it's right to let traitors speak ill of our king? The boy gets caught. Making a fool of himself, but he still hasn't learned his lesson. Oh, we got a script. Deutsch, nice toast. You turn into a common thug. You might win a fight with violence, but you'll never win an argument. Remember, Henry, if you want Wise to convince words. someone that they're wrong, try using your mouth and not your fists. Furnace is ready. Right, we'll do the grip. I'll heat it up, and when I take it out, you slip the grip on so it fits exactly. You know what you're doing. Do it. Henry's hand slips and his father just Good. stabs him in the Once thigh. <laughs> That's it. Done. Now file it down so it sits well in the hand. I'll prepare the guard. I mean, he wasn't going to hold or touch the sword. If he does, there was an accident that shouldn't have happened. <laughs> Father, why did you leave Prague? Who ever heard of a master swordsmith making horseshoes in a village? I had my reasons, Hal. And here, I have your mother and you. Why would I want any other life? Do 
You remember Emperor Charles? I do. <laughs> Life was good under his reign. Better than now. He built half of Prague, and a score of castles, had a bridge made over the Moldau, and founded a university. And all without a war. He knew how to war. Better than Wenceslas. Better by far. But Wenceslas doesn't have it easy. It's hard to step into the shoes of someone whose like is born only once a thousand years. What about Sigismund? Do you think Charles would have brought an army down on his own people like Sigismund? No. Wenceslas may not be the equal of his father, or Sigismund. He brings shame to the royal name. How's it going? Give it here. We'll put it all together. Father sent me for those nails. Good day to you, Teresa. They're ready. Will you fetch them for me, Hal? They're in the trunk in the living room. Well, the bubble has to counterweigh the size of the. Father, you dropped your hammer. <laughs> the uh, the bubble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, okay. I mean, yeah, it's. It's utility and looks. I mean, I think the handle is what made the pommel look very big. Uh, which trunk? In here? Weirdly size in general. Yeah, I think it's because of the handle's uh, size. Which trunk? Did I pick it up already? Take the axe. Oh, okay. Wait, what? Apparently, I found the nails already. Was that the nails from Kunesh? No. I. Maybe, maybe I sold something I shouldn't have. Here are those nails you wanted. Yeah, I, Thanks. I didn't even pick up anything. <laughs> She's fine. Why do you ask? Just wondering, will you be going to the dance this evening? We will. Maybe we'll see each other there. Anyway, mustn't keep you. I'll be on my way. That sword is truly beautiful. Fine lass, eh? Might as well say a fine lass, eh? Come and see this. Time for the trial by fire. <laughs> we did a fine job. I would expect nothing less from such a renowned swordsman. Those days are gone, sir. Hmm. I haven't lost your skills, though. Would you like to try it? Sir, what good is a sword to a common? Try it. You still have a lot to learn. Ask your father to show you how. He knows what he's about. Learning his trade will serve him better in life, sir. Perhaps. But who knows what the future holds for each of us. 
I see that you must have it finished. You just need to polish them, and we will bring it to you. Excellent. Fine work. Very fine. A sword such as this will bring honor to its bearer. What say you say, Sven? True, Sir Adzik. If I See, we didn't call him by his native name. It's not Istvan, it's Istvan. How odd to find such an accomplished swordsmith working in a place like this. It's a Hungarian name. A man of his talent would have no problem making a fortune in Prague or Vienna. You're right. It's a very long and peculiar story. I'm going to, like, correct a lot of the mispronunciations in this. Although I guess Istvan was a name that you could also find in Czechoslovakia and other places, or Czech, uh, or other places. I'm sure our pals will cross again. Once it's ready, send your son up to me with it. Good work, Martin. Sure. It's been an honor, say. Have a safe journey to Sapphire. The honor is mine, Sir Radzik. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, Radzik is definitely a chair name. A long, peculiar history. That was a long time ago. I might tell you about it sometime, but not today. Will you teach me how to use it, like Sir Radzik said? Why? Well, it could come in useful. Maybe I'll travel a bit before settling down. I'd like to know more than the tavern on the green in the forge. You know the trouble with an adventurous life, so it can end before it gets started. I might teach you how to handle a sword, and then someone will shoot you with a crossbow as soon as you set foot outside the house. You talk as if you've seen it happen. A man my age has seen a lot. Being a blacksmith might bring no glory, but it has its benefits, like keeping your head on your shoulders. I want to end my days in Scalitz, here, beneath the linden tree, by your mother's side. Well, so do I, one day. But first, I'd like to see the world, meet new people. Meet them, or beat them. Meet. You have to keep going on about it. <laughs> then you've no need to learn swordplay. I learned the loot. I'm going to be a bard. That was very jarring, the animations. <laughs> What's happened? Uh oh. Here come those, those barbarians. What I say right now, give the sword to Sir Rex. If anything happens, we'll take care of you. He owes me. That was not a very powerful gate. Just one of us can knock it down. <laughs> Ah! 
hungry, don't be a dumbass. and I'm making hunch forward a little instead of him running like a, a plank on sticks. There's <laughs> like no urgency to his running uh, from a distance. <laughs> There's the title of the game. Uh, that's why it's called Deliverance. There we go. So Renzi Kovila's sword. I have his sword. I have to deliver it. <laughs> there's, there's the, uh, there's the reason it's called Deliverance. The more you know. Run, Henry. to get a horse. God, those, those are evil, those plants. Uh, you can call your horse anytime by whistling and then mount it. Shot is the horse's basic base. Caps lock will make it walk. And the left cheek will uh, canter, combines faster pace with the horse's engines, and then double shift makes gall galloping, but it will lower the stamina. And also follow the path. Your horse is smarter than some people and will stick to the path you're on if you give him his head. Just begin cantering and don't steer him. I like how that says your horse is smarter than some people. There's a stern indicator. Yeah. Worst things. Yeah. And also you can just whistle with axe. Oh. I'm saved. There we go, they're speaking in Hungarian. They said he's got our horse. <laughs> they're angry about the horse. There you go. I'm going, I'm going to give you commentary that you don't get from a lot of people. I oh, know. I got an arrow in my in my thigh. I like I like how loud those hits are, even though I wasn't even near. Left. Halberg is to the left along the stream. Yeah. Yeah, I think some of the settings that get changed for no reason. Is like the draw distance that can definitely be increased if like the most important like shadows are lowered. Yeah. Eh. Yeah. Uh. 
Run. <laughs> Me too. Oh, the horse is not going to last. Yeah, we'll be shot by an arrow. <laughs> I can't remember exactly, I think. Uh, they're speaking Hungarian because they are, like, just, um, what's the name? I mean, I don't want to spoil who they are, but, like, historically they are not Hungarians. They just speak the language. So we'll, we'll leave it at that. I'm not going to say who they are, but they, they aren't, you know, it's not, it's not Hungarians attacking the Czech. Are you blind that you're not hitting him? Someone kill him. I'm translating. He's ordering up to shoot away, that's in English. Let's get out of here. That's not the horse I stole. <laughs> My horse was fully brown. It had no blonde hair. At least when I mounted it, it was brown. Someone give him a drink. And bring hot wine and bandages. I cantered it so much, the, uh, the color... Escaped from his hair. It got so tired. <laughs> his hair dried up. Tell me, boy, who are you, and where are you from? What in hell's name happened? I've come from Scalitz. They burned it to the ground. Slaughtered everyone. Who? Who burned it to the ground? A huge army. They attacked without warning, and then they weren't Czechs or Germans either. Who then? I don't know. I've never seen armor like it or heard their language. They are the weird, weird language. Fucking weird people. Tartars, you say? Well, we'll deal with that later. First, let's have a look at that leg of yours. Don't worry, I'm a doctor. Grit your teeth, boy. I'm gonna pull that hair out. Yeah! Modern medicine. <laughs> Easy. All done. You were lucky, lad. The arrow missed the bone. And it didn't break in you. Bandaging, and I've done that often enough before. War is a good teacher. Can you stand? There you go. Good as new. <laughs> Thank you. If you idlers nothing better to do, get back to work. You'll have to speak to Lord Dibbish. Can you manage? Hey, Bear, how's it going? I'm playing a different medieval game. Just without the fantasy. Sir, this is a survivor from. I heard rumors. How's it? How, how are you feeling? Tell Resting me, boy. In bed, I what exactly do happened? That. Did you see the insides of the attackers? And were there any more survivors? So, uh, I don't know what army it was, but it was huge. There were dozens it's of really armies really uh, kill above Skalitz. Yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully you'll re 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 recover fast. They burned scallops to the ground. But a lot of people took refuge in the castle. Uh. I wasn't quick enough. And as I fled, they shouted from the battlements that I should come and warn you. 
The soldiers the boy didn't recognize. They could be those Cumans of Sigismund's. It said they came to Hungary from the east, and now they're the core of his army. There we go. Sack there we go. Gutenberg. They just, they only speak Hungarian. There's also murping in this, uh, Duke's Indeed, sir, castle for some reason. And our small garrison would be no who, who'd, who'd, who'd all these circles in the walls? <laughs> you think we're next in line? Maybe. You think they will notice? What's your name, boy? Aki. Hey, I'm Henry. Son of the Scarlet's blacksmith. I know him. Did he make it inside the castle? I'm sorry. It's in God's hands now. No one else can help us. Anyway, thank you for risking your neck to warn us. Robard, take care of Henry. Make sure he gets something to eat and some rest. Yes, sir. And also, it's probably not news to a lot of people. All the people inside the gates. But everyone in these times were religious. The worst. Like there was just Christianity was all the believed way. to be the uh, As you command, sir. the be all and all of life. So even if you didn't follow it, everyone understood that. Like when you die, it's in you know. God will take care of you. That's it. And all of decisions were made by God. As that was just a thing. As a result from the Crusades and all that. Yeah, this anymore does not working, so just hearing gameplay always and the swelling creaks. Yeah. That's good. Okay. Oh, I need some food. And a bed. Hello. You've done well, man. I'm sorry for your loss. You must be all done in. Why don't you go to the kitchen and have a good meal? Sorrow is easier to bear on a full stomach. God, I love how, because it's historically accurate, all the armor say he was a swordsmith who moved to the countryside to make orchards. It's so good. I can't understand why he'd waste his talents, but I'm sure he had his reasons. He had a fine rep. Oh, all right, cool. <laughs> Uh, I love I love all the uh, historically Your accurate armors because I don't know I, I love I love medieval armors. They look so, so this cool. This is brave young man. Welcome, lad. <coughs> Bojana here will take care of you. No doubt you're tired and hungry. <laughs> Indeed. How could he not? No, don't even mention hungry. After everything he's been through, he must be as hungry as a bear. What did I just Aren't say? You, young master. Here you are then. Eat your fill. And a little wine to wash it down. Thank you, my lady. <clears throat> when you're done, you can go and rest with the grooms in the outer bailey. No, that won't do, Sir Robard. After all he's been through, he deserves a proper bed. Let him sleep in a lodge in the courtyard. So, Young Henry here is overwhelmed by your generosity. Oh, yes, yes. Thank you, my lady. God reward you for your kindness. Eat up now. You're in capable hands, so I'll leave you to it. Good night. Good night. Good night, ma'am. When you've done, you can sleep in the bedchamber of the courtyard lodge. And don't forget to take off those filthy boots before getting into bed. Yeah, that's, uh, that's not that common with the commoners to take the boots off. You just sleep in your normal clothes, and then wake up, and then carry on. <laughs> Something to eat. You're yeah. that lad from Scarlet. What in heaven's name happened there? Pick up the, the, the whole bowl. Let me just, uh... Pocket at all the food here. Okay, I do need to eat. <laughs> Lentil mash. Um, that was barely anything. Rose ducks. The rose duck is way better than the lentil. God, I mean, it is just lentil at the end of the day. Oh, was I not supposed to take that? I'm sorry. I'm sorry I took too much food.
Look, I've been through a lot. <laughs> you can't judge me. Wait, I was supposed to take it. It's just this guy who's, uh, who's upset. No one else. Okay. If you're tired, your stamina and eloquence will also gradually decrease. Sleep is the solution. Find a little better, which you'll recognize from the icon on the compass. So yeah, also, uh, I'll be nice and I actually take off my boots. There. That's actually a very nice bed, what the hell. I mean, compared to, uh, anything else. to sleep 12 hours. Apparently that's the maximum I can sleep. Oh, never mind. I got interrupted by plot. Wow, look at those. <laughs> Did you see Emily's feet? Yes? Fucking did. My lady. Uh, <laughs> um. No, no, not at all. But what brings you here at this hour? I thought you could do with a little wine. Even more wine. It's just what you need to help you sleep. My lady. Uh, wine is like the the cure all. You really shouldn't. You could have sent a servant. Going to, but to tell you the truth, I couldn't sleep either. I thought of you while saying my prayers. How awful it must have been for you. I came to offer you solace. God, that's a fat box. To let you know you're not alone. Thank you. Thank you kindly. You're welcome. Now, Henry. I know this is all very new and strange for you. But I want you to feel at home here. You're not to worry about anything except getting better. And then the hand just burps oh, aloud. I feel home idea. already. I know what it is to be left alone in the world. Although your loss is much greater. But with God's help, the pain will ease in time. And it can help to talk about it, if you feel like it. Where is Henry? I mean, I'll tell her the story. You might be right, my lady. Where, where is Henry? I'll tell you what happened. It was terrible and unexpected. The day started just like any other. Father sent me into town on some errands. Henry, where are you? Uh... I went to the tavern to buy ale for Father. I know it's a job for a groom, but I didn't mind. My girl Bianca worked there. I courted her a while and we agreed to meet in the evening. But our meeting was never to happen. Oh dear boy. When I'd done all the errands, oh, I headed back there's Henry. I promised why, why are you sitting? Okay, I've never seen this bug. He was forging a sword. He's supposed to be sitting on the bed. Like the camera is showing the bed. Father and I always chat in the forge. On that particular day, I asked him if he'd teach me swordsmanship. He said no. He said it's better for a man to keep his head on his shoulders than lose it over some pointless heroism. If only you'd known what fate had in store for us. Oh. But Sigismund's horde was already on the horizon. 
ready to attack the town. Uh, yeah, I'll just be back as you being, um... I mean, actually, I could have been the other one, the middle one. Yeah, I'll do this a bit. Pennants flapped in the wind. The armor glinted in the sunlight as the horses whinnied impatiently. They were waiting for Sigismund to give the command to attack. How awful. And then death descended on Scalins. Uh... The gate to the castle was open. The bells and horns sounded the alarm. The villagers <laughs> ran to the castle to take cover. Oh my god, 60 megas. They were carrying the few nice. things they could grab in haste. I saw the Big terror boost. in their eyes. I can't even imagine how awful it must have been. I ran to the castle like our neighbors to take cover, but I didn't make it. I had to find another way to save myself. The men on the battlements called down to me to flee to Talmberg and warn you. I was lucky I knew a concealed path around the castle. Uh, the commons are humans. <laughs> I no longer heard any sounds of battle coming from the castle, so Sigismund's army must have regrouped and started preparing for siege. No doubt you're right. Then I heard a scream. It was Teresa, the mill wench. She'd been caught by a gang of human savages who planned to violate her. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I wanted to help her. God knows I wanted to. Even though I had the sword we made for Sarazi, they had me outnumbered and they were well armed too. I only just managed to grab one of their horses and ride off. Hello, happy lizard. Yeah, I else. like this game a lot. So, not my first playthrough, but I do want to finish it. Oh, Henry's back on the bed now. God alone knows why he lets such things happen. You poor boy. I understand your grief, but God is not to blame for the ills of this it's, world. It's, it's a very well written that and good game, is it? Those who do his bidding. Those who are corrupted by greed, envy, and pride. You must not lose faith, whatever life brings. been merciful to me and my husband either although in comparison to the horrors he went through I was young when I married my husband it was my father's wish Divish was a lot older than I but a woman must bear her lot shortly after our marriage before I even got a look at Talmberg the castle was stormed and my husband was imprisoned my husband had some quarrel with Sir Havel Medek of Valdeg, who decided to resolve it by force. He stormed the castle, burned down the village of Pribislovitz, and killed many of our men, even the old chamberlain. He imprisoned my husband in the castle and put his own garrison there. That's awful. I was barely uh, 18 that's years fine. old. Yeah, and that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Happy. All of a sudden, I was left alone with Sir Robert. Still appreciate you showing up. We didn't know what to do. We went to Prague to appeal to the king and sought help from Divish's friends, but all to no avail. We tried for years. But it seemed I was destined to be left alone and my husband to rot in jail in his own castle. Years, you say? Seven years. That's how long it took before Havel was condemned as an enemy of the crown. And even then he refused to surrender the castle and release my husband. In the end, I raised the money to pay a ransom. And only then, by the grace of Lord Jesus, did I finally lay eyes on my husband once more? Seven years. And was Harvel punished for it? Never. And after seven years, my I'm husband. I'm gonna make the events be affected by the scaling to four subs and all that when I grow. So I just haven't done that yesterday. Sure. I was doing other stuff. Certainly. Only 
he has and I'll do the items strength. too. He had to rebuild Tarver, except for like the shirt. I have to think on how I do the shirt. Castle, and he was very busy. He had no time for me at all. But at least we were in the city. Um, there was something going on. And now we're here. My lady, you're still young. Beautiful. Your best years are still ahead of you. Would that that were true, lad. Would it be true? But what am I doing bothering you with this? You have troubles enough of your own. I'll go and let you sleep. I enjoyed our little talk, Henry. Good night. And God bless. Good night, my lady. So he's just being honest, telling people, telling nice people everything honestly is a good thing. You could have thought. yourself up to be the hero that you're not <laughs> Very Henry, you did the right thing. Henry, wake up. You don't want to miss this. What is it? What's happening? Come to the battlements. One of our patrols reported a company heading here from Skellens. Man, I'm having the worst sleep <laughs> this night. I get woken up. I have nightmares. I get woken up again. I'm gonna rate you one on Trello. <laughs> Give you one stars. Also, um, I'll real quick, uh, be right back. Come back. Right. Ugh. I mean, the um, you'll 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 get there. Um, everyone grows about the same amount, scaling wise. So the bigger people will grow faster, but when you reach those uh, sizes, tiers, you also you know grow faster. Also, I got chocolate.
Hello, Zidrus. I like it when you pick up an item like a torch. And this happens like regularly in the game. Henry picks up something and he's like holding it upside down. <laughs> Now we can also just hold one. Forget about that. Wow, look at CryEngine. This game this game looks really good, partially because of CryEngine. But it's also incredibly intense with the requirements. Hello, Everlight. How's it going? Hey, two men down there. Tell the people outside the walls to prepare for attack. Quickly, do you understand? Sir, why are you outside in the rain? Sir Divish. Oh my god, the frame rate. <laughs> What's going on? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Why would Sigismund advance on Talmud in the night? Especially since he's lost the element of surprise after the raid on Scalax. You didn't waste it, Leon. Then who is it? The, the system the can't Davis take one, one slash off of you, so he didn't. And Sir Ratzig is an experienced soldier. He'd surely hold the castle for quite Oh, that's one, Wolf. Congrats. That's such a big boost. Not much of anything. Before they could get close enough, this huge storm started. And you were right. Sigismund has a hell of a lot of soldiers, including all manner of mercenaries. An army like that costs a fortune. Well, anyway, we'll find out when they get here. It said you drank one slash, but one slash is not a number. So you didn't remove anything. You also didn't grow by any amount. But you have to put in a real number Who to be removed. Lucifer and all his minions! Who else, Robber? Sir Ansig. What a relief. Is his lordship there with you? Yes, sir. He is right here. What are you doing up so late, Divish? At your age, you need a good night's sleep. <laughs> well, Rantic, you didn't exactly pick the best time for an outing either. In a big hurry? It was a bit of a scramble, all right. Believe it or not, this Tempest is a godsend for me and my men. As my old granddad used to say, better a sore throat than a slit throat. I'd say your grandfather was a wise man. Your messenger told us what happened. Messenger? The lad you sent to warn us. He's alive? He made it to you? He's here with me. <laughs> what a surprise. He got away by the skin of his teeth, though. God. A brave young man. But tell me, friend. How on earth did you manage to get away? Thank God for this tempest. When it began, Sigismund's Tatars crawled into their holes and left to storm into the castle for more clement weather. We were able to sneak out right under their noses. The Lord be praised. We wouldn't have stood a chance against them. Would you like to spend the night in Tumber? No, no. When Sigismund finds the castle empty tomorrow, he might come looking for us. We'd only be exposing you to danger. Without me and my men, he has no call to attack you. What will you do then? We'll march to Ratai. It's only a short way, and there we'll have a better chance of defense and enough room for all of these people. If Sigismund should come, yeah, the rain didn't really help the situation. There's no point dying in a battle that's futile. You're right there. Is that boy still with you? I'm here, sir. You have courage, lad. That I can't deny. I am sorry about what happened. Would you care to join us? I'd like to, sir, but first I have to return to Skalix. Are you mad? What do you want there? I can't leave my mother and father. I won't leave their corpses rotting in the street. 
I'll join you once I've taken care of them. Don't even think of going back there, you donkey. Are you tired of living? <laughs> sir, quiet! <laughs> I'm sorry about your father, <laughs> but getting killed as well won't help him. Divish, make sure that lad doesn't fuck you, Talberg, until <laughs> things quiet down. <laughs> Not to worry, friend. Anyway, he's injured and needs to recover. I'll lock him up here as if he were Havel of Baldic. <laughs> I see you've grown a thick Wow, what a, what a, what a typical sir. joke. But thank you. For, we'll meet again when for the 15th are century, that. I mean, I. Farewell. He just Farewell. talks about it earlier. Good fortune. But it just you flew over my head happen. every time, so it's Farewell. like, it's so funny when they make a joke You'll like that. Is a dark time. <laughs> the people who would understand Farewell. that joke are from <laughs> the 15th century. Also, hello, Everlight. Oh, I might have, might have already greeted you. Okay, let me, let me have a, a drink. Let me real quick have a CP. Ugh! Or go big sips. Okay. Men, tonight we'll have triple patrols. Sort out the watches between you as always. And if I catch anyone boozing, playing dice, or slacking off, I'll personally break every. Oh, I want to play body. dice. I want you to keep a close eye I on like, everything you like buy. Sigismund will surely have sent spies. And likely men as well to follow the Scalas people. Now he knows they've fled. Keep your eyes peeled. And report everything to me at once. Understood? What is it you need? I could use an extra pair of eyes. The oars are keen. Will you keep watch of the battlements, my men? Is that a request or an order? I'd rather it was a request you answered yes to. Of course I'll help. I have to pay you back somehow after all you've done. Splendid. Don't worry. I'll tell the men to relieve you later. Yeah, Lord, what you'll be. Without my consent? Hey, Maxwell. How's it going? Keep watch on the battlements, Henry. In the rain. I'll, I'll stand here. A bit covered from it. My, my, my eyes... My eyes are keeping watch. God be with you. Uh, what do you think about how the Scarlet's folk managed to get away? Fortune smiled on him, that's for certain. Sigismund must be seething with rage. Just a shame Fortune didn't smile on one of them. Oh shit. Sorry. And you know Sir Radzi Coppola? I wouldn't say I know him. I've seen him a few times. He must be a fine lord, to take such good care of every one of his serfs. Surely all the lords do that. Ah, I could tell you some stories. About Sir Divish. Jesus, no. I didn't mean it like that. Just that I heard stories from other soldiers that would make your skin crawl. Wandering around like a stray sheep. Must be your first watch, eh? I don't think anything much will be happening today. You can just lean against the wall and wait till morning. I'll show you what's what. I will. Thank you. <laughs> so yeah. Skip time. If you have to wait, just to... And then skip, which... The game, the game is going to just, uh... Fall forward however much it wants to, so I'll just go until 9. It's gonna stop every guy stopped. What's that? What's happening? Oh, I'm not supposed to be in here. Uh, the other way. Let's go! Let's go! Move it! Let's go! 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 
I'm coming. I went the wrong way. Let's go! Let's go! Move it! Quick! Go! Go! Oh, the rain just stopped. Sigismund of Luxembourg has a rare talent for winning people over to his cause. You may be in for a surprise. I don't think he will set his heathen dogs on us today. Greetings, Lord of Tomber. <laughs> That's the bastard who led the attack of Scullis and killed my parents. Don't be an idiot. He doesn't want to end up like them. I am Sir Mark Bart von Aulitz. I come in the name of Sigismund of Luxembourg, King of Hungary and Croatia, who has resolved to strike against those who disrupt Concord in the land and to restore order in the name of his brother, King Wenceslaus IV. Restore order by burning and pillaging the king's estates. Greetings, Sir Mark Bart. The efforts of the king's brother to bring order to this chaotic land are undoubtedly noble. It seems to me, though, that he and his army have somewhat strayed. As Burgrave of Prague Castle, uh, I am entirely it time, beholden yeah. to the king. And here in also, Talberg, he's the king of Hungary and Croatia. Until I thought it was just Croatia. To what then do we owe the honor of your I guess it's because it's the English name of the yes, king and not the Hungarian version. ...against the enemy of the kingdom. Ratzik Kobila, who has been using the silver from the Skalitz mine to the fund Sigismund. the insurrection like against the crown. Zygmunt in Hungarian, Zygmunt, uh, King Zygmunt. escaped. Would you happen to know, noble sir, where he might be at this time? As far as I know, the Sir Radzik of which you speak is the king's hetman at Skalitz. I find it hard to imagine that he would rebel against our king. Nevertheless, I can assure you that Sir Radzik is not at Talberg. He would be a fool indeed to flee from one castle, where he has little chance of defense, to another, where he has even less. Or do you take the view that my humble manner is any obstacle to your honor? Am I to inform the king then that Sir Radzik Kobila is not at Talberg? and that he has your loyalty. Sir Radzik Kobiel is not here, and I have no intentions of getting embroiled in affairs from which I have nothing to gain. Very well, sir. As you wish. I will relay your words to the king in the hope he will be as well disposed as you seem to be. Those who have clean consciences and good will may find themselves well disposed even at moments like this when there is little cause for joy farewell sir how feet is it he said it he said the uh, his native uh, goodbye <laughs> Yeah, this, this game is all about you, Zeno. And all about how my my past, my, my history, my ancestors uh, were assholes. <laughs> I am the villain in, the, in this game. <laughs> Thank you. 
Those damn Hungarians. <coughs> My family history is they moved from Germany to Canada and became farmers. So that's nice. God be with you. Why did Sigismund burn down Scarlet's and then come here too? That's war for you, lad. Certain lords have resolved to take things into their own hands and eliminate anyone who doesn't share their view. Unfortunately, Sir Ratzig is one of those. And what's more, he was sitting on a pile of silver that could help King Wenceslas's allies. Uh, I have to do something. There we go, that should make the game run a bit better. What happened in Gutenberg? Gutenberg? Well, I'm just a simple soldier. But the good lord gave me ears, and I've heard some things from Sir Jivish and from those who fled from Sigurd. Yeah, I'm also Sir Indeed. But it was the Kutenberg mercenaries who came to see me, because I knew them from before. You see? Listen, lad. I'm also Sir Gil, and a good, a good story. In Prague, a cabal of nobles rebelled against King Wenceslas, wealthy aristocrats who took against our king for reasons of their own. There's no doubt Sigismund had his fingers in the whole affair, him and Wenceslas's cousin, Jobs. And that cabal helped him abduct the king. So then why did Sigismund attack Kuttenberg? Why do you think? So he could loot him? Correct. King Charles, may God grant him eternal glory, built Prague into a proper royal city, while King Wenceslas took a liking to Gutenberg. The simplest After reasons. Prague, it's the most important city in Bohemia, in the entire Holy Roman Empire. He who commands the Gutenberg silver is king. So Gutenberg sided with Wenceslas because he favored it. Now you're starting to understand. When Sigismund imprisoned Wenceslas and took control of Prague, the people of Kutenberg began to raise an army against him. So with the attack on Kutenberg, Sigismund killed two birds with one stone. He defeated Wenceslas's most powerful allies before they could stand against him and also gained immense wealth. History. Where did these humans come from anyway? I don't know much about them, only what the Chamberlain said. That they came to Hungary from the east and settled there. They're godless barbarians and merciless fighters. Hey. The nobles used to say the Hungarian king shouldn't enlist them because they dishonor our rules of warfare. But when there's power and money to be had, it seems that honor isn't worth my spit. And believe me, nah, it's just Hungarians in general. Because there's no honor <laughs> here. <laughs> so, Robart, I need to get to Scalis. What would you do there, lad? Sigismund might have left, but the place will be swamped with robber barons, brigands, deserters, and other vermin. And anyway, your lord commanded you to stay here. <laughs> Let me out before I lose my temper. My parents died there, and I won't leave them to be ravaged by dogs. I have to bury them. Good God, boy. Do you want to throw your life away for those who can never get theirs back? Do you think that's what they'd want? Forget it. Oh, alright. Uh, also, uh, there's a codex in this game where you can, like on, like on Wikipedia, you can just look up history about the, uh, the time, like the Cumans, Jobs of Moravia, the Pope, uh, Pope Benedict uh, the 13th and then Pope Boniface the 9th. Sigismund of Luxembourg. There's, there's a whole just a whole lot of reading here if you're if you're into uh, history. A whole lot of reading. And this is just like now. Because this this will get updated as you learn about more characters. And uh, more stuff. There's also information about the society of uh, medieval life 
like beekeepers, blacksmiths, farmers, malters, brewers, merchants, noble officials. Now all of the, uh, the, um, what is it, the affixes or like the titles of different people. So yeah, they, it's just so you understand the situation, uh, the location, also all the events that's gonna happen. Because everything that happens in this game ties to, you know, historical, like, big events as they happen. So, yeah. Uh, what happened? And the rest of the way, because I was really trying to steer and I succeeded. Unusual grow affected by- not yet. Unusual and strangers are not affected yet. Uh, neither are the, uh, the rings. Like, the, the cursed ring and other random item. But it will be affected where you grow and lose more. I'm going to change that. So as I said, I'll have to do that as well as do the, uh... Do... What is it called? I also want to get, um... Uh, do the events. So, you know, when you, when you support me, my growth is also affected by the scaling. But yeah, let's go back to, uh, back to Scalitz. Without, without people's knowledge. Oh, hello, Divish. I heard they eat their prisoners and make broth from corpses. Typical, typical talk. I can talk with you for some reason. God be with you. Oh, you look happy to be here. Is there someone here who trades in goods? I don't know. All the Tomburgers fled from the village, so it won't be easy to find anyone. When I want something, I go to the local pond keeper. He can usually get you anything you care to think of. He's over by the granary. But if it's food you want, you're better off going to the cook. She's more pleasant to deal with. God be with you. Cool. Uh, oh, I don't want to go back to the castle. I need to. Oh, this there's the gates. I discovered. Oh, this guy is a traitor. I see. God be with you. He's not. <laughs> I just got a trader, but... <coughs> oh, is he like... Outside of the gates? Or something. Now he's indoors. Hey, what the fuck? Oh, he's in the building. Okay. Ow! My leg. That wasn't even a big floppy, uh, fall. Okay, that's the locked door. I guess he's locked still, unless it's you, whatever. Good health to you. Oh, it's him. Okay. Can we trade? If you've got the coin. Treasure map? I want that, that's 96. I, I, I cannot buy that yet. Maybe, maybe in time. I got super dirty clothes. Alright, well. God be with you. I need to get out of here. And I need a feather bed with a comely wench in it. But it looks like we'll both be disappointed. Sir Divish gave orders not to open the gate, and you especially are not to be let out. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. My mother and father were left in scallops like carrion. I have to I'll go with the empathetic route. I'll leave them to the dogs. I'm sorry, my friend, but I can't. 
You'll have to persuade Sir Robard, or think something up so I don't end up in the shit for it. Otherwise, forget it. What am I supposed to think up? How should I know? Maybe some disguise so I could say I didn't recognize you? If a Townberg soldier turns up all kitted out properly, in armor and a helmet, then of course I let him go. That's obvious. All right, I'll have a look around for something. Farewell. Right. Let's break into the guardhouse. Because uh, I was given a place to stay, food and everything. So I will respect that. Also, I could honestly jump out of here, like if I really wanted to. But that might be a bit too uh, on the nose. But you could really just like climb down there, but I think the guards would stop me doing that. Wait, how did I? Oh yeah, the battle went up here. Hmm. I didn't get lockpicks from Fritz, I think. Yeah. How... Hopefully there's something I can get. Oh, it's not just... Arrow. It's just an arrow barrel. To get, I forgot to ask him for lockpicks. Yeah. I don't know if the other guy uh, was selling any. I might have to check on him. something down here. Hey, what the fuck? That's not correct. Why is it showing, uh... Alcos, 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 do you still have the Terra? Okay, you still have it. Uh, I th feeling should work, because I, um, I was, uh, I, f I, I looked at it, I, I have to look at it again now, because I specifically looked at the Terra. Jesus, that's a lot of size. <laughs> Give it to toast. To, I'm, going, I'm going to quick look at uh, Terra's.
so much stuff that I have to fix and change <laughs> still to make the scaling work everywhere. Uh, alright Neon. I mean... If you want you can do that Talon. You, you can be, you can, you could be generous, I guess. But if, uh, if every, if everyone is going to do exactly that, then I might, I might make the mass transfer also be affected by scale. So your size, uh, keep, it depends on how big the target is, but I don't even know where to start doing that. Yeah, I might have to think about the mass transfer in that regard. Also, Terra targets. So, Terra is the uh, text. Yes. Is there a space anywhere accidentally? Because it always happens now. Then it goes to the scaling. Like that's to the user that size. I see. I see what I fucked up. Okay. Alright, Terra Terra should be working now. I made a I made a mistake. Uh don't, don't want to abuse it, but it kind of feels like abuse. Yeah, I mean I, I don't want to take it away for from people. Yeah, I, I don't want to take it away from people. But I also don't want to see people, uh, giving the, um, like, giving vials to someone to, like, then get mass back. Like, I don't want people to, like, gain the system. So, yeah. I, I'll have to think about the mass transfer, because I'm not sure how that's gonna go. And, uh, everything has to be lockpicked. I don't have a lockpick at all. Try... Try getting it from the uh, the other guy. Maybe hey, you have a lockpick. No. Hey, maybe the, maybe the trader has one. Hey, Siphon, how's it going? Can we trade? If you've got the coin. Oh, he does have lockpicks. It's... Oh my god, they're so expensive. What the fuck? I can only buy one. And I have to sell... I mean, I can sell a bunch of the Savior Schnapps. I'm not going to use that much. So I can buy multiples. I could get the treasure map. Just sell all my uh, all my saves. That's fine. 
There's no way to make mass transfers more expensive for people in higher tiers. So I guess that wouldn't work somewhere else. You could just buy a mass transfer and give it. Yeah, as I said, um, I was thinking of like, if you use a mass transfer, it takes into account who you're using it for. And then it divides it based on their size, based on their tier. So yeah, I don't, don't feel bad about it. Uh, I'll, I'll have to, I'll have to figure out something with that. There's, there's a lot of things I still have to do with, with all the, uh, different sizes and systems. Uh, that's Hangle. Let's talk about the price. Sure, why not? How about 35? Since it's you. Close. Drop the price a bit more and we'll shake on it. Sure. That's a sum I can live with. Five more. Thanks. Being able to read was a very rare skill in the Middle Ages, and a common blacksmith, so I'm certain it wouldn't have been literate. To understand written text, you will have to find someone who can teach you to read. I don't know why that shows up now. I, I didn't encounter anything that I had to read. Okay. Very easy. We'll see about that. So, the way this works, I'm, I'm surprised they don't tutorialize this, but the way this works is you just have to hold it along, like, real locks, really. Oh, there's all the, uh, all the guard outfits. You must steal, make sure no one sees you, and you need to be careful when selling stolen goods to try going to trade as far away as possible from the scene of the theft. I'll find someone who deals in stolen goods. So yeah, no one's gonna... No one's gonna, like, notice that I undressed weird. Right? Yeah, wow, that, that, that Henry has, uh, has got some, some weird outfits. Oh, hey, Divish. <laughs> fancy, fancy seeing you here. As I'm just in my, uh, my outfit. Super generous and uh, and using of everything they have. <laughs> I need to get out of here. Hey, it's me again. Then I'm afraid you're out of luck. Ah, I see. All right then. Could you breathe a word about it to anyone? Got me with you. Thanks. I gotta get to Scalets. I think this is where I learn uh, fast travel. Yeah, every 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 ten times it becomes more potent. Fast travel now. I do. Or I could also get a horse. I think that was an option. I just don't know where I'm gonna get a horse.
don't know where I could get a horse to. I mean, yeah, I can just... I don't want to steal, I can just, uh, run. Oh, never mind, I can't fast travel. I mean, I think it's going to, like... It will... I mean, it's going to... It, toast is going to get out of control... Until you guys, uh, run out of the, uh, the vials. Because <laughs> right now you'll keep, uh... You just drink everything that you have. And then it'll, it'll slow back down to what it was before. Because the last, the last few, uh, well, even weeks, I think, people have been just hoarding up because I talked about this system, about the, uh, the scaling system. This game is going to be really bad for the bit, uh, the bit, bit rate. Cause, uh, yeah, all that grass will not look good. So I could have gotten a horse. Somewhere. Like, I, I remember I... I think it's possible to get a horse. Because I don't want to run all the way to Skelets. I think eventually it does like cut to like a fast travel or something. Yeah, the option is to get a horse, but. but yeah, I think eventually it's just going to cut to me uh, at Skelets. I don't know how much mobility you guys would have at that size. Where's the horse that I came in with? That's, that's like the first question. I think it will be at a tavern or something. At some stables. Because so I came here with a horse. Or did I like hypermuscularity? I prefer my mobility, so I'm probably more macro than muscle bound. That's fair. Cinema doesn't show where the, the horse is. Yeah. Oh, that's the tavern, I remember that. So maybe it's. Maybe it's at the tavern. There's the best chance to get a horse anyway. Oh, that's not a tavern, that's the bathhouse. 
Well, never mind then. Or baths. That's where you take a bath. Otherwise, you don't. Apples. All right, I'm just gonna run then. I don't know where I could have gotten a horse from. Maybe if I, uh, if I convinced uh, radish. But no, I'll just, I'll just walk. What's up, toast? Quarry. Look at these people working hard. Um, yeah, that's that's why that's what I meant. Um, tell him. There we go. All right, there's the cutscene. That's that's what I meant. Uh, toast. That it, it it's going to even out, and everything will slow back down to what it used to be before. Because people, people held on to a lot of vials. <sighs> what are you, what are you doing, Zendo? Why, what is Twitch doing? Mm. Oh. Hey, Ro. aren't even playing. I, I I don't know what's uh, what's happening with your uh, with your application. <coughs> and it started to rain again. Mark. Who's there? What's it's... that? Answer to my prayer. Just what what I the fuck? Why is my sword? Not equipped. Wait, it is equipped. Uh, did you forget to equip your sword? Uh, Henry? Pull, pull it out. I guess for... As far as I know, I don't have to manually equip it. It's in my... Okay, that's a bug. I'm on that. <laughs> that's a bug. I, I think it's a glitch, because uh, your the sword... As far as I know, the sword just comes out when you're fighting. Or not. Oh no, it's not. I had to... 
Because I had the torch in my hood bar. Uh, I, last I used the torch with the hot bar button, so the game thought. I just want to like reload. Why is it? Why does it have the uh, the other? Oh, I accidentally did that. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not doing that because the other uh, game forgot to change from the torch hot bar to the sword hot bar that I had earlier. Uh, yeah, Twitch Twitch Mobile is pretty bad. And now I have a sword. It's kind of funny how they never teach you how to pull a sword out. <laughs> I, I know I already had this, had this uh, tutorial. Sex. Sure. I don't know what my weight is, because everything weighs you down a lot. Wow, pears and pretzels. Sure. I mean, it's not very, um, not very nice. Henry, Henry is just, if I, if I loot the bodies, I'm just doing the same thing that guy is. Which I, I want. Well, I took some snacks. You can also, like, you know, gather plants and stuff. There is actual quote-unquote alchemy. But it, it, it works the same as uh, medieval, like, medicine worked. So you have to combine and grind and boil a bunch of different uh, herbs together. To create uh, various effects, various drink effects. It's it's pretty cool. I liked I like the involving system with it. Like you have to actually look up a recipe and work off of that. It's it's cool. has food with them. the weapon drawn like that the, I mean that was a tutorial on something that didn't happen <laughs> hey who's there who's there answer to my prayer just when I wanted to vent my oh. Ow. Ah. fucker yeah. ah. 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 Get going then. But leave that weapon right where it is. 
It's not even a uh, good, it's a broke mix. I can't remember exactly. Uh, oh, this isn't even the main village area. Yeah, that's further in. this bit and then uh, go and have something to eat for dinner. Oh yeah, nests are like just various nests that can oh up there. Have random stuff in them. You need a bow and arrow to like shoot stuff like that down. For maybe some some gold coins that a crow might have collected. Or eggs. going. He did have a bit of money on him, but as I said, I'm not going to rob the dead. Um, oh, you're asking me, Sandra? You need two million kilograms for, uh, for the ten mil. Today was your first day of the second semester, so I'm tired, but in a good way. Alright. Sounds good. Well, I guess I'll keep good memory of his sword. I'll take it so the, um... It's like perfect condition as well. I feel like it's the kind of weapon that you, that they'd want you to take. It's like quote-unquote loot, but yeah, I'll take it for his memory. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not taking his money, but I'll take the sword so lowly bandits can't. Oh, uh, oh wait, no, that's not Matthias. I think you can find some people around the place, like spe specific uh, village villagers. 
Oh, there we go. Stream keeps buffering. Oh. Also, congrats, Zendo. Okay, that was a weird... The lightning caused a weird visual glitch. Kunash, did you make it? You probably just ran into the castle. Supposed to be used now. I'll find the bastards that did this to you. I'll find them. I swear it. Just wait. I'll take care of my parents. And then I'll come back to you. I won't leave you for this. See how you put it in right, I don't know why it didn't work. Nah. Try again I guess. Okay, I wanted to pause but I can't pause cuts. I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, look at look it up, math. Why why it doesn't work? It works before. Don't know why wouldn't it? Why did you do it to me, father? Why? Why did you leave me? Forgive me. Forgive me for everything. I'll take care of you. I remember you told me. I'm gonna think, I'm gonna look at it, Matt. After the cutscene. Yeah. Under the linden tree. At least I can do that much for you.
Okay. Uh. Yeah, let me let me look at it. I don't know why it doesn't work. I don't think you mistyped it. Grey fabric script always had like a problem for some reason, even when you were examining it. And I don't know why. It's like the smallest problems with it. I mean, do you have a grey fabric script? Check again. I guess. Meth. Shirt upgrade. I haven't done anything to other stuff uh, than uh, than uh, just the vials and the darts yet. But yeah, let's give. Gray fabric scrap. Gray fabric scrap. Man, the amount of stuff that I have to do outside of the game now. Check math, like I, I you haven't checked. Okay, I'm just gonna check it on my end then. <laughs> I'll just look up your name. Math. Okay, you do have one. But I, I don't know why it doesn't work. Like, it should be working. Yeah, it's- uh, Matt, Matt does have one, I don't know why it doesn't work. Like, the command is correct. The first- first text is Grey Fabric Scrap. The, uh, these three arguments. The amount is the third argument. Which is one. And then it consumes a grey fabric scrap. Three argument the amount. It adds it to the argument to user. I don't know why it just doesn't happen. It's not even a command that's uh, unlocked. So it shouldn't have that problem. That's, that's that. Back to, back to the game. I have to find a spade. There's a dog now. There's a dog now in a place where I was. Or Earlier. Maybe not, maybe I would actually be in there.
What are you doing? What do you think I'm doing? Digging turnips? The beast just went for me. Isn't that Mutt the Butcher's? Oh. Isn't that body the Butcher's? Yeah, that's him. What's that got to do with anything? I'd say the poor creature is standing guard over his master. We weren't trying to get to him, were you? What do you care what I'm doing? What are you doing? I came to bury my parents. So bury them and leave me here. Do you know what happened to Teresa from the moon? When I fled, the Cumans went into the They meant to violate her. God knows what else. No, I don't. What do I care? They probably raped her and killed her like all the others. Her misfortune. Right now, I've got to take care of myself. How did he manage to get away? How do you think I ran? If you lend me that spade, I have to dig a grave and I can't find another. What's it worth to you? I see you have a fine sword. I'll gladly trade you my spade for that. How did you come by it? My father forged it for Sir Radzik. It's my duty to deliver it to him. It's not for sale. Go right ahead and dig that grave on the sword. See how that is. And where will you dig it anyway? Here? You're not going to lay your parents in unhallowed ground, are you? Unbelievable piece of shit. Go! Run. I'm surprised he tried to fight me. And then I pull out my sword, he just starts running. Like, he didn't think I could pull it out. I'll put him further down the line. I'll, I'll see him again. He's just gonna be another bandit somewhere, and I'll, I'll see him. It's not a big world. <laughs> So what's this treasure map? Ah, it's from Ledechko. Okay, well I don't I don't haven't been to Ledechko yet. Spade. You use Dig. Start digging. Oh, start digging. Alright, key. So what's wrong, Neon? Let's get to it. 
It's an accurate shovel slash spade. It's uh It's more of an American modern thing, I think. To have like a curved one. Like even in my childhood they were all flat like that in the village. Damn it all. the sword. Who are you? What do you want? Spishek? Who do you think we are? Franciscan brothers? We're here to rob you of everything you've got. Especially that fine blade that's of no use to a peasant like you anyway. Manish the thought. It is my father's sword. You mean him? over that sword, I might just let you go. If not, you're in for a family reunion you really don't want. Leave me alone. Kill him, Runt! I cut the bastard down! Yeah, shovels, especially because if shovels have a curve, it's harder to dig with them. Harder to get through, uh... Get through, uh... Tough grounds. quick. <laughs> he, he hit me once <laughs> that I blocked. I told you how it would end. You should have listened to me. Man, you really are pathetic, Zivishek. You can't even lift it up. This is nice work. The chief is going to like it. It's new, isn't it? Now, for the maiden bloodletting. Surely your father never would have imagined it would be your blood. I believe there's a word for such moments. The old man would certainly know. But I'm just a common killer. Did you help make it? No doubt you did. Such miserable luck. To die by the sword you helped forge. Hey, go fuckers! <laughs> the games are over. I still don't know why it doesn't work. I mean, there's only so many times I can look over a command. I don't, I don't understand. So yeah. How's, how's that for... Uh, it, it really shows how long this game is going to be. How's, how's that for an intro?